Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Jimmy Brooks. Thanks for stopping into the channel. This is going to be a six to seven month update on the XSR 900 2022. I was one of the first people to get it in Southern California here. We got the Legend Blue going on and I've just loved every second of this ownership. I'm going to basically show you my favorite thing to do on this bike, which is first and second gear pulls. And uh, gosh, speaking of that, I'm actually glad I ended up going with the XSR. Not only for the looks, but that Tracer 9 swing arm adds a little bit of length and uh, stability, I've heard. Seems pretty stable to me. Um, I sat on a MT-09 SP. I met a guy the other day with one. And uh, you are more upright, so I can only imagine um, be a little more wheelie prone, being more upright and a little shorter. Uh, definitely more comfy. I envy the, the seating position. Uh, long, on long rides, you know, this is, this is a bit much for, you know, a two-hour ride, I'd say. But it gets the job done, and loved, I love the looks. And this has been my favorite bike I've ever owned. Um, I think the CP3 is really the, the apex for the street. I can't imagine uh, a faster bike. Um, you know, I could imagine that it's just on the highway, you know, the way this thing feels in first and second, that's the, you get that, you get a continuation of that acceleration, like, from 100, but... I don't need any of that, dude. I'm I'm all about the zero to hundred. Let's see how fast we can get to two one hundred. Not exceed it. I, I rarely exceed that. So uh, yeah, this has just been really great. Um, the the torque is there. Um, you know that that second gear thing. I got used to it, where it has a little torque dip from the factory, but that can be tuned out. A lot of people have tuned this motor already, and they love it. So uh, I will say, man, you get carried away with the <laughs> with the pulls. Uh, this is my second set of tires. It has less than um, 2,000 miles on this bike. Uh, I ran through uh, the rear battle axe S22 in 1,700 miles. Just doing, it's because all, all I do is I come here and I do pulls and then I go straight to the canyons and this bike's used to zero commuting and almost zero freeway miles. So anyway, you guys didn't really come to hear me jibber jabber. Why don't we? ride it around a little bit comment below if you'd be interested in seeing more of a canyon type video like my last ones on this bike um don't have time to go there today but we can go around the town here and have a good time and for around the town and just uh being a goofball uh this is god i can't think of a better bike i really can't i mean i rode a live wire the harley davidson that that seems cool but uh, something about going through the quick shifter using you know actually going through some gears with like a quick shifter it's a nice in between between manual and e-bike so we got her warmed up here and it takes a real fast bike to beat this thing to 60 dude Just the best, and up a hill I can't even full throttle it because it'll just come up like, <laughs> like so. <laughs> hey, we got a, a quad kid. All right, I'll do one more pull and then get out of here before people get angry. Rightfully so. Oh, we got. Oh man. That's a bumper. Oh man. This thing still hand handles so good. It, it's just made, it's made me such a better rider. I feel more confident and I can just push this thing. And it, it keeps me safe too. You just feel real like this, the limits are so high that you're never gonna get this thing out of sorts. Even if, you know, you hit a little bit of dirt mid corner, like, this is just so good at keeping it together. And uh, yeah, even if anything did happen, you know, I got another life right here, so <laughs> we're good. All right, let's see here. <laughs> oh man, this quick shifter. Is, for this price point, it is undefeated, dude. There is nothing, nothing at this price point. Ten grand? Are you kidding me? Get wrecked, dude. This quick shifter is so good. Just. Ah! 
<laughs> oh man. All right, all right. Just cruising around, dude. You're the fastest thing on the road. You got so much torque in the sixth. You just and this is mode two as well. Let's see, we go to mode one, like. You know, the CP2 doesn't have this kind of pull. I mean, we're going, going to 70 at 3,000 RPM, like it's nothing. Dude, this is the best street motor. It's so good. All right, let's flip it around. Oh, it is cold. I should have taken the winter jacket. Oh my God, it's cold. Oh man. Oh man, we got all the cars coming now. Here, put them on my blinker. All right. Hard to U-turn this thing though. subtracts like 10 pound feet of torque uh, from anything below 6,000 RPM. I think you get like a legit like 10 pound feet of torque in the low RPMs if you have it in mode one, which is not always necessary because with mode one, it also sharpens up everything and it makes it pretty, pretty wild, not gonna lie. I don't always ride mode one, but when you wanna be surprised by the power, mode one. Like in the canyons, if you wanna just be like shocked and, and my, like <laughs> low-key scared <laughs> mode one baby but yeah this thing will lift in first 100 <laughs> percent oh man oh that's the fun it's almost like like <laughs> i've never been fishing but <laughs> so it's funny i was about to make this analogy it's like reeling in a big fish dude you gotta reel it in. The, the game with this, it's almost like playing a little game of, of can I shift before the wheel lifts too high? This thing, this thing will let you lift real high in uh, mode one, like the least intervention on wheelie control. It'll let you damn near go to balance point. And I have it on that because I know I'm not gonna loop it, you know, but crazy. to try and then I've been even slightly interested like not over this bike but like if I had infinite money like in addition like I would love adding this to my garage the one bike I've been thinking about is uh, that fuel super cruiser that seems so cool like it seems like they have like a super new like engine in there like making about that power big old v-twin but like a proper like you know performance v-twin and they say it's gonna be under 500 pounds wet we'll see if that happens but the ergonomics are kind of sporty, but not like this. Like, and, and the seat, dude, it's one of those, like, you know, Harley saddle seats, which are the comfiest thing my ass has ever laid its cheeks on, was a lowrider SC. So good. You know, this, if anybody has heard anything about the XSR seat, it's, it's not the best. It's not bad. It's, it's just not that comfy. It does the job. It's and seat. Whew. Try to switch a little car. Get, getting cramps. 
and then like if you don't want to be all <laughs> if you don't want to be all jumpy just switch it to mode oh not mode four <laughs> i was gonna i was still looking for mode two there we go <laughs> mode four is like 400 cc mode oh man i just love that in third it's just like you can go anywhere you can just like warp just warp speed at any RPM. Third gear gives you full torque. There's something weird going on in second, but even on the stock two, third and up is bonsai. I still have uh, stock exhaust, and I think it sounds good. Like, it's not too loud, I can do pulls in you know city streets and no one's hearing me except me you can hear that uh intake the intake sounds good weird hearing an intake and like not so much exhaust it's kind of like a like a honda situation <laughs> like like a colder intake but no what is the stock exhaust but yeah dude this has been this has just been really good it's been an absolute dream bike. I said that the day I got it on my very first video and I'm saying it now like seven months later. It's still a dream bike. Um, I got no complaints. I, it's my least regrettable vehicle decision I've ever made. And I counted them up the other day. I've had 12 vehicles between, you know, cars, motorcycles, and scooters. That's not even counting e-bikes and shit like that. So yeah, this has been great. Uh, let me know what other content you want to see with this bike and um, I will get right on it for now. I'll see you later, and uh, bye.